Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. I see the um, the lights moving, so that means the microphone works. What about yours? What's up? Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. Oh man! So you just have to listen the whole time. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, now everything seems to be good. Okay, cool. Um, today, and by the way, if you hear this, uh, forward it to somebody that who may benefit. Um, and uh, like I say, we're not the smartest people in the world, or at least James isn't, but. Um, <laughs> You know, it's just sometimes you hear a thing from a different source and, uh, you know, it, it could help. You never know. Um, you know, what's the saying is a smart man learns, learns from his mistakes, but a wise person learns from other people's. Um, I know a lot of younger people, everybody wants to be rich and successful and drive the nice cars, fly the nice, nice planes for lunch, you eat, you know, <laughs> cheese and wine on a balloon. Right in New York for lunch, London for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, where, where you go, it's, uh, lunch is sit down, open a menu, and light a candle. I know, yeah. I know you and Ron. <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of people don't know how to get there. And I think once you're there and whether you're happy or not, that's a different topic. But oh, yeah. let's face it, there's a, a science in, in how to to get there. And it's you know, I think we judge ourselves off of what this person has done or that person has done, let's say on YouTube, you know, these sensations. But by definition, it's that they're making a lot of money. It's rare. If, if it was that easy, they would not be valuable. And so yeah. I think they're a horrible example of how to make money. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know what some of these people... Uh, like peanut butter gamer i don't know if you've heard of him or peanut butter gamer yeah my kid watches them on youtube and he's got like i think he's like the number two guy on on is youtube he or what is, is he a game like he plays he's a game? a game well they just talk about whatever oh, okay, and um okay. i think it's him mm. there, there's so many but he gonna, makes a lot of money huh yeah these guys they, they make <laughs> millions and oh, geez i think it kind of reminds me of how rappers like they they the kids see him with money and cars, and so they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that," you know. And then they start rapping, them. and never. But the problem is, they find out later on that those cars are leased by <laughs> the record company. Um, that these guys mm -hmm. spend spend most of the time spend their money faster than they can make it, mm -hmm. and before you know it, it's gone. Mm -hmm. um, and they all have a lot of them have just horrible lives because they they don't know who their friends are, and um, you get too much too fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think what uh, some of them are, you know, do okay. They invest, um, but it, it's few and far between. And, mm -hmm. and it's just the reason I say rappers because they they put an emphasis on money uh, more than anything else. Yeah, and fame and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. Like I was watching a, a documentary the other day, and it was it was even talking about Bloods and Crips and gangs. And when they just show the cool stuff. Even my seven-year-old started putting her hat on backwards and is like bobbing her head to the music. Oh, geez. Okay, <laughs> but it, you know it's 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 propaganda work. So yeah. otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't yeah. do it. Yep. Um, but I I think uh, the hardest thing is to make it look cool to do it the right way. You know, put your time in somewhere, mm -hmm. work your ass off, work for free. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right, work for free. Yeah, that's one. I mean, and, and you know, I always say like. Um, like when I started, it was just, I didn't even think about the money. Like I have the, the, the cleaning company that, you know, I've been doing it for over 20 years and, um, I, I could be a lot bigger if I wanted to. I just, I had to turn it down because of the stress it was too high with, with a lot of employees. And mm. so it's like, I'll go to a convention or something. I'll talk to other guys that have a huge company mm. and people will standing there will say, Oh, that guy with the 50 employees is successful. And 
I'll be like, wait a minute, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, know, I'm not. Yeah. I don't have to mm-hmm. speak to attorneys all the time anymore. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, my phone's not ringing for, you know, mm. people messing up on the job. Yeah, or just, yeah. it's one complaint after another. And that right, takes right. its toll. And oh, yeah. It's, it's not fair for the kids, too. But that, again, that what is success? I think that's a different story. But, mm-hmm. but anyway, I think you could, if you do it right, and if, you know, why not? Um, if you could do it, just try it. And um, if you can be successful as far as monetarily, go for it. But it does take uh, a lot of work. And I think, I don't know if people are willing to do that. Um, at least, uh, I, would, I keep on saying your generation, but like, do you, do you, from what you've seen, do you think your generation has that grit <laughs> to do all the stuff that, that it takes to be successful? Um, um, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, I think my generation, they do. It's just, it's just in a, in a different form than, than your generation. Um, um, I mean, times have definitely changed <laughs> over the years. And yeah, you know it. We're in the informa- uh, information age nowadays. Um, but I mean, when it comes to... When it comes to straight up this grits and you know, getting so when down you say and dirty, information age, are you talking about how like my twelve year old knows everything? Yeah, you know, we got iPads, you know, we got smartphones. No, she don't need and, it. She knows everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, we know everything. Like you know, logically, I guess we know everything. Um, but when it comes down to the, you know, really getting down and dirty and uh, 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 experiencing that, I, I I feel like my generation we lack a lot on uh, just you know. You know, just straight up uh, getting down and dirty, but uh, well, I don't, and I don't think it's a, it's, it's, it's no generation's fault mm-hmm. particularly because true. Even like they say, the great greatest generation would be like considered my grandpa, and right, right. because you know they went through uh, World War Two and everything, but yeah, they didn't start out that way. It was everything was like hey, roaring twenties, and they were mm. probably just party, 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 mm-hmm. and then this thing called. Uh, World War II came around, <laughs> and you know, all of a sudden, the eighteen-year-olds had to be adults, and and they had to. Um, That's true too. Yeah. And then the depression, so it kind of molded them into mm-hmm. being the greatest generation. That and, is true. And I think the problem now with with the generation, and you know, I don't want to make this episode about just the and the generation, but you know, if, if they are going to be great, they're, they're going to have to have a little pressure on their neck uh, yeah. to be great. Um, oh yeah. But like you, and I see you working hard, um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it wasn't by accident. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, I, I think if you were kind of coddled as a, as a young child, mm-hmm. you would not have that grit. You know, it's... That's, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, uh, that's definitely half, more than half of the reason why most mm-hmm. kids, you know, don't have that grit is because of how they're raised as well. Um, just but, think, think about it. Let's say, like, when you're 16, like, oh, here's a car. Right. And, uh, oh, by the way, you could, you could live at home as long yeah. as you want yeah. with free Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know, it's like, what would, your, what would be your motivation to get it? Oh, and, and then when we get older, uh, we will have a trust, and mm, we will give that trust yeah. to you. So you'll have money coming mm-hmm. in every month. Yeah, yeah. How much heroin do you think you'd be doing a day <laughs> right about now? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, though. <laughs> yeah, because I, because I see that, and I get lectures all the time from, um, from a lot of my customers, and, and I understand doing that stuff. So in case, uh, you know, there's Angie that kills me and then kills herself. <laughs> you know, the kids need mm-hmm. a place to go legally. Um, but uh, to, if I think if they know they have a safety net, they're not going to have that. Uh, you know, I, oh, I better get up and do some uh, work because it's cool yeah because yeah, if you're worried about where rent is going to come from and mm-hmm. where your next mill is, mill oh, yeah. is that's a hell of a motivator yeah big time. <laughs> yeah 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 that's so true yeah so yeah. um so anyway so that you know i i built this this company um you know my cousin and i started a long time ago and, and we branched off and and we just worked our ass off we knocked right. on doors and you know just would go door to door in the mountains which you know, even mailmen don't even like to do that uh, <laughs> yeah. in the hills. You know, yeah. just it's it's a it's a daunting task, and to hear no all the time, like oh, yeah. yeah, you did cold calling, so yeah, yeah. The, the the power of no, man, that just that <laughs> that yeah, you it gets you down yeah. to the bone, man, and uh, yeah. especially when you're hearing it all day, yeah, and you know, but eventually you start to get you know a little bit of money, mm-hmm. and then now you're like, okay, you could be busy, but mm-hmm. you got to get up and you know, go to work. And I, and I think that where most people stop is as soon as they barely pay the bills, 
mm-hmm. because once you know if you have if rent's coming up boy you could get up and move around and do things oh yeah, oh, yeah. but once you got enough for rent like the car's paid and, and i got insurance paid for the next six months mm-hmm. boy it sure is easy mm-hmm. oh i don't have anything on the schedule hey honey let's just make this a me day yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. go to the beach exactly yeah um, so i i think to to get to that level that that people look at on tv they see the nice cars and and all the nice houses you know what is it that makes people um go to that level where they just have above and beyond um of what they need and they get to that point where they're considered successful. Yep. Um, and, and I think it's, it's almost an addiction. You have to be, Oh yeah. Big dr- yeah. You have to be driven to do that. Um, yep. you know, otherwise you would just say I'm content and I'm fine. You know, I have enough and I'll go back to work when, when I need money again. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. but like with me, the, the, the world is so expensive, especially raising kids. Oh, yeah. Um, like tomorrow I have a, um, not tomorrow, but Friday, uh, it's my son's uh, first birthday. So we're supposed to go, I don't know, the water park or something stupid. Mm. I mean, something <laughs> fun. Sorry, <laughs> honey, in case you're listening. Um, so everything's kind of planned. And then I got a call from, um, I do uh, Rick D's. I, I work on his house. And his assistant called me and she's like, hey, we got to, uh, you know, he has somebody coming over and... Um, you know, I got to, uh, I got to have this work done. And I'm like, I could have told him no. She said it's no big deal. But we also have a food company uh, that mm-hmm. James is involved with too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm trying to push it. And it's so easy just to say, no, I'm good and push it off. But I know Rick Dees is working on a book, a, a baking book, mm-hmm. uh, he, like top 40 desserts. And, uh, and he knows everybody in the industry and he kind of knows about you know what I'm doing with the sugar, mm-hmm. so I have to just be have the throttle float forward. And mm-hmm. because it may not be this, you know, I've done a lot of other things mm-hmm. that are, I'm trying to help this thing go get going. Not that it's all dependent on me, but I think everybody has to have the throttle forward. And mm-hmm. since I tend to be more in the sell genre, um, you know, it's incumbent upon me to make sh- make sure that. I'm not the lackey and, and I don't want anybody to have to push me. So, um, you know, so I got to go and, and I got to do laps with him and, and talk to him. And, uh, if you, if you're not doing that all the time, you're not, it's that simple. You will not be successful. Yeah. Um, it, it's because you don't know when it's like my daughter, she's, she's practicing for uh, the beauty and the beast play mm-hmm. and she didn't get the part she wanted. So, like when we're rehearsing, she'll do like, was it Belle? Mm. You know who it is? Yeah, Belle, the, prin- okay. the princess. That's the actual princess. Uh, you, should yeah. said, you should have said, I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, she said no. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, so anyway, so <laughs> she does Belle's part okay. really well. She's okay. got all this energy because that's what she wants to do. Okay. And when it comes to her part, <laughs> she's like monotone, mm. just kind of, you know, going through the mm. motions. And it's like I could tell when it's her part, even though I'm not paying attention to who's saying what is because I could just hear that there's no energy. And I think if she really thought about it, you know, I tell her, I go, Marie, you practice like you play, you know, like a baseball player that doesn't, if he's not diving for balls when he's practicing, yeah, he sure as hell ain't going to do it in the game. Yeah. And, you know, with her, I go, you got to have all this energy now. Otherwise, when you're on stage, you're not going to have it. And I think what she doesn't see is that she's... Um, she's getting apart at least she's in the damn play mm. and then i think she's the she's the dad that goes to jail or whatever oh okay okay so yeah we're, we're talking a big production at the elementary yeah. school right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think i'm making half the props <laughs> so if yeah if you see my yeah. backyard it looks like disneyland right now <laughs> um so anyway so uh so she she's going to through the motions but if she really thought about it if she does well at her part then the next play yeah. She'll stand out like, oh, you were great as the dad in, in Beauty and the Beast. So then, you know, eventually when the time comes, mm-hmm. you know, that's how you get the leading role. Mm-hmm. It, are you guaranteed to get it? No. But, you know, it, it's there's a certain a certain amount of energy you have to do. And it's the yep. same thing with work is, oh, yeah, is you're not guaranteed to get anything. And what you're doing isn't directly related to, um, you know, what you uh, what you may want to do later on, yeah, but yeah. at least the people your network knows that hey, this guy's reliable.